Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to the Transformers Power of the Prime Wave 1 Swoop Review. Now, I do, I do apologize. Um, I, I was looking everywhere for it and I just could not find it. So I do apologize that his sword will not be included in this video. I was making an effort to get reorganized and in that effort it kind of got misplaced. Um, but I really want to go ahead and make this review and, and, and to get ready for the grand finale. You know what the grand finale is after all the Dinobots are reviewed. Volcanus. Um, and as a lot of you know, I've been posting about, trying to post about two videos a day. Tomorrow, um, school starts back up in full swing. So that will probably limit me to once a day or once every couple of days. But since we are done with Wave 2 just about, i got about five figures left in Wave 2 to review that I could go backwards and talk about Wave 1. And um, we'll pick up from there. We'll see what happens. i got a lot of classic Transformers I would love to talk about. Um, so let's get going with this guy. I'm going to try to get Volcanus out um, Thursday, sometime Thursday afternoon. It would be awesome. That's going to give me a whole bunch of time to make a nice in-depth review show off all the Dinobots in their dino modes, robot modes, and combine them and just go about what makes a good Volcanus. So let's get to it. So Swoop here, of course, is a pterodactyl, so he has his wings. They're on the um, screws, or yeah, they're, they're on screws. So you could put his wings however you may in his robot mode for any kind of pose. I've been kind of keeping him like this. I had him like this at one point, but mm, um, as you've seen, his fist fell off because there's some pegs in the back that you could actually peg it to for storage, which is great. And another thing I love about this mold is the combiner peg is in the back, which you get no combiner, combiner, belly bind, combiner. Yes, they are made out of pine. Um, what's interesting about these, well, first we got the ball joints in the armpits. Then we got hollow um, holes in the forearms to put the fists in. But the fists are ratcheted in. Did it in? Did it in? I don't know if you can hear that, but it has a slight ratchet to them, which is awesome. I like it. So, that is fun for me. Um, going to legs, you got his pterodactyl legs that go down right there for his robot mode. His feet bear the combiner fist or foot peg. Turn his feet to the side and insides just they're they're hollow nothing to you know nothing which is fine that's no big deal his legs are on ball joints legs are on the screws hinges he could do a full karate kick I mean, no I was hoping he would stay there that would be awesome um, he could go all the way back all the way forward, like he's leaping through the air. What I also love about these Dinobots, clear plastic over the regular plastic. Yay! Um, I don't know if you could see this on camera, but the blue on his torso, I think it's it, the, the contrast with the blacks and the grays, little greens, little reds, gold, but it pops. It just I don't know about you, but it, it works for me. I like it. So, with that all said and done, let's see if we can't just zoom in on him, get a closer look, and then we'll head on to the transformation. A lot of nice molded detail in that plastic. Really digging it. There's that popping blue. We got some green paint apps on the wrist. And 
and of course more lot of molded detail in the legs that's just fantastic right there I love it so with all that being said let's get to the transformation his transformation is uh, fairly simple once you get the hang of it so I'm going to start off by just putting his hands or his fists in his forearm and then with the legs you see all this weird stuffs well right here it kind of pigs in so you push it out like so push it out like so do that with the other one and then then you're going to get a lot of main focus back here now you see there's two different types of peg holes you're going to see one that's kind of like a T I'm going to find a little peg back here on the back of his leg that's like a T and then you might have to adjust the wings at a certain angle to get that in but um, you'll get it don't worry and then you know just push his feet his feet inside like so I need better lighting I, I do apologize and then flip them up flip them up and, and he, yeah, you basically gotta find the sweet spot what I've been using is just the peg hole as my guide and everything for me has been kinda <clears throat> filling itself in and I wanna say it's like let's see from there it's one I think it's just one click out is the sweet spot maybe so there we go like I said it just takes a little bit of practice to figure out where everything wants to go it's it's not where you want it to go it's where everything wants to go so we got his like little jet booster thing right here and then take his dino legs his pterodactyl legs and just ah, break them right off. That's what you want to do. There we go. Um, oh, I see what's going on here. His legs got kind of funked up. In the transformation process. So let's try to fix that before we continue here. It doesn't want to. That's so weird. Okay, there we go. Like I said, it's it's where it wants to go, not where you want it to go. So there's little peg holes right here, pegs here. Click, click. And then that. And now there are pegs in his waist right here. And there's pegs in his wrist or near his wrist right here. Just kind of peg those in there. Peg those in there. And then the easiest part take his beak, put it over his face, lift up the head, and there you have it. Whoosh. Robo pterodactyl. Now again, it's where what this toy wants to do. It'll well for me it'll come unpegged. So here is him standing up. Now if you keep that, there we go. Then you could actually move his head down. Then I'll move my camera down. There we go. And we'll focus just a ever so slightly. There he is. Kind of looks a little shy standing like that. He's like, hey, hey guys, I'm here. Wake up. <laughs> and then some of the photos I've seen. They're like, hey, you could put this prime armor on the back of him. So, I mean, I guess we could do that. Yeah. 
peg right here, peg right here, peg holes. That doesn't look too bad. That's pretty good storage, especially if you have them standing like yay. Because that's like yay. So, pretty awesome. Let's try um, his leg mode. Now we're going to start by tearing apart his backpack right here because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold out his robo feet. Oh my gosh, what did I do to this poor guy? All right. So anyways, you want to fold out his robo feet. Make sure his arms are tabbed into his wrist because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold his legs up kind of over them. You're not going to cover them, but you're going to get there. Kind of struggling a little bit here, but there we go. Then flip his beak down with his head, kind of fit it in between his legs. And then the next part is, you see these little tabs over here? In each wing, there's tabs in his shoulders. And then um, you'll put the tabs from the shoulders into his wings. Now you're going to have to fold down the wings a little bit. Tab it. Tab it in. There we go. Push these wings down. And there you have it. One combiner leg. All wrapped up in a nice little metallic little prehistoric bird box. Oh, let's move that light in again. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. Pretty nifty. Now it's time for our mode. That's going to be uh, a little bit easier because all you got to do is take that nice, that very nice ratcheting combiner peg out, flip it there, then take the wings, unpeg them, fold the feet back down. There we go. Yay. I was like, well, maybe. If it, if it wants me to. <laughs> and then put that right there. And we're just going to keep his arms tabbed in right there. And you know what? I'm going to fold the wings back like that. And then let's just try to keep those legs. I know they won't stay in the place. Peg his little, well, not little, it's a giant combining robot so you know peg his ginormous hand in there and there you have it an arm which I think personally I'm gonna use him as arm just because you know I don't know I, I would love beefier arms so I might use the beefiest out of the four as his arms then he would have skinny legs and it would look like he skipped leg day I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. So anyways, there he is in his arm mode. So thank you everyone everyone, for um, checking out this latest video. Like I said in the beginning, I probably won't give Volcanus out till Thursday just because school's ramping back up and I have a full load this semester. Whoopee, but hey, on the bright side, I graduate at the end of the spring, so yeah. So thank you everyone again for watching, all of you. Um, before this video was posted, I just broke 100, um, 100 subscribers, which means you guys are awesome. And that means 100 more people I get to talk about Transformers with. And you know what, if you're a passive buyer, Definitely leave a comment down below because the main point of this channel is uh, an outlet for me to nerd out with about Transformers and other toys about with you guys. 
I'm so excited. I can't talk. So um, thank you again for watching. And no matter where you are in the world, whether it be your day or your night, have a good day and or night. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again so much for, for all you guys being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you.